Hello everybody, welcome back to some more NFL Clash. This is Gorilla, and today we're doing a Tom Brady player highlight. So I recently got him in a pack opening, Spotlight Offense pack, I believe. I actually opened it on the channel. I'll link that in the description if you want to watch it. But I got Tom Brady recently, and uh, I was really excited to get him at first. And I still am happy that I have him. I'm really excited. He's a great guy, great, great player. But I am still, you know, I really still love Mahomes. Like, and granted my Mahomes is level 7. And my Brady's only level six, so I guess it's not a fair comparison. But let's look at the stat sheet real quick and just talk about kind of these two. I'm going to talk about as well. I just got Russell Wilson as well. And I also just got Matt Ryan and Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson being a runner, so we're not going to really talk about him because he's mostly for running. Um, but all right, let's talk about Tom Brady and his stats and Patrick Mahomes, most importantly. So Patrick Mahomes is obviously the top, um, top escape artist right here. And pretty much the top passer, like overall, like because Lamar Jackson's a runner here. But I mean, not the top pass. I can't say the top passer because Matt Ryan is also he's up here and he's got a higher passing rating, but he doesn't have a high de higher deception rating. The thing with Mahomes, man, is he's got the high deception, so he's gonna be able to like kind of trick the coverage uh, into thinking like, like I don't know. Basically, mathematically speaking, he's gonna like have a better chance to ignore coverage, you know, and and actually make the pass happen. And then he also gets the special ability right here that passes are almost impossible to intercept. Applies a minus 100 interception debuff to all defensive players while on the field, which is insane. It's actually really helpful. And like you'll notice when you play Mahomes that most time the ball gets to who you're trying to pass it to. All right. And then Matt Ryan is great. He's the number one pocket passer stats wise. He's got the highest passing rating. He's got the highest deception rating for a pocket passer. Beating out, Mah beating out Tom Brady who's got 363 and 305, whereas Russell, whereas Matt Ryan has 411 and 336. He's killing it as a pocket passer for stats. But the, the difference between Matt Ryan now is that Matt Ryan provides a 100 catch rating to all teammates for one play. So it's kind of like the opposite of Patrick Mahomes. But I would argue that the minus 100 interception is going to be a little more helpful for your team. And then difference between Brady and Matt Ryan is that he's got bullet pass. And then, you know, Matt Ryan's got just this boost to the 100 catch uh, rating buff to all teammates for one play. So Tom Brady, man, he doesn't have that extra boost. And he's got lower stats than Matt Ryan. And he costs six energy, whereas Matt Ryan only costs five energy. However, where he sacrifices that, he also has bullet pass. So he gets a pass that ignores coverage for one play and less countered. So ignore the coverage of one defensive player on a pass play. So, first of all, it's only on a pass play, not on a deep pass play. I've tried it. Deep pass plays don't work for this bullet pass. So, you're already limited to which routes you can run, which are going to be the shorter routes. You know, it's not like you're going to get one bullet pass all the way from, like, the beginning uh, from your end zone to their end zone. So, that doesn't work. When you get it to bullet pass four, I guess you get it on two plays and three as well. You know, and, and bullet pass two. Yeah, I guess you just like ignore the coverage of more defensive players for each level. Even then, even then with the bullet pass being for two plays, I still just feel like it's not worth it. I don't know. It feels like it's not as effective. You know, first of all, it can be countered. It could be countered, you know, and let's consider these guys. I mean, you can counter any pass, which is stats and getting lucky and stuff, you know. So it's like, do you want to have this chance that this like, guaranteed thing hits and doesn't get countered or also something could go wrong the ball could still get knocked down with bullet pass by the way which is the worst thing ever you could use your bullet pass and it just gets knocked down by one of the d linemen and then it also only ignores the coverage of one guy at level one so it's like all they got to do is prioritize the one they think you're going to pass to and then also you're giving up like crazy like stats that you could have with matt ryan matt ryan has higher stats overall and then Mahomes also has higher stats overall. And then here's the other thing, man. You know, Tom Brady, he's a pocket passer, so he's very slow. Uh, right here, speed, very slow. So he's really not going to be able to, like, spend a lot of time with the ball waiting for a pass to get open unless you have, like, a really solid O-line, you know? And even with a solid O-line, you know, as soon as that's broken, there's no time. you got to get it out of there, you know? And then whereas Mahomes, he's really agile, He's really fast and he'll get out of there and he'll be able to make extra time for you to get the pass down. And he could run if you need to you need him to run. 
which gives you a lot more like options when you're playing. And it's good to have options and trick the other team. You know, maybe you're going to pass it. Maybe you're going to run it. I don't know. Whereas Tom Brady, it's obvious you can only pass it pretty much. And then let's look at Matt Ryan. He's also very slow. But again, you have the higher stats. It's it's just, that's what's worth it. You know, you get the higher stats and the boosted catch rating for one play. So I don't know. Tom Brady versus Matt Ryan. They're pretty similar. 100 catch rating buff to all teammates for one play. Or ignore coverage of one defensive player for one play. But could be countered and could be knocked down. So it's up to you. I think they're pretty much the same thing. Matt Ryan's got the higher stats overall. And I personally have not really used Matt Ryan yet that much. But I think that they could go pretty neck and neck, Tom Brady and Matt Ryan. And then obviously it's important to keep in mind that Matt Ryan is an energy less than Tom Brady, which makes a difference. So yeah, but but at the end of the day, I still think Patrick Mahomes is your best option right now just for that deception and the minus 100 interception and just being more agile and fast and being able to make more time for you so that if your O-line's a little lacking, you can still get the pass out. But again, it also depends on your lineup and what you've got going for you for O-line, for receivers, whatever it is. Experiment with who you got and make a team that works. I would just say make sure your offensive plays don't cost more than like 10 to 12 energy for like a big push and then like smaller pushes for obviously for a little bit less. And then talk about Russell Wilson. We're not even gonna talk about him in this video. I'm gonna save him for another video because man, this guy is also fantastic. All right, so I know you guys wanna see some gameplay of Tom Brady. Let me start opening a chest and uh, let's let's hop into a game and we'll see how he plays. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get to show his pass being knocked down with his ability. And then hopefully we'll show, because it, 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 is, it is helpful sometimes. So hopefully we can show how helpful it is. But also I think we'll show its disadvantages and we'll also notice that we're going to get intercepted or our pass is going to be prevented more often than I feel like it does when I'm using Mahomes. And now Tom Brady might be pretty efficient for like a shorter route kind of lineup. So if you have like a lineup where most of the people on your team are going to be running shorter routes, I think it'd be pretty fair to run him, you know, cause he's got that bullet pass ability. But, I mean, I like to run longer routes far out and just kind of go for it. Go for the big throw. All right, we're running it here. I don't know what this guy's doing here. He's just giving me a free run. Bro? Dude, what was that? <laughs> Prodigy, my guy. What was that? All right, free touchdown. Thank you, sir. All right, we're on defense now. Let's get our linebacker out there. Kendricks, go for that tackle. He's probably going to touch back. Good job. All right. Normal play. He's got Stafford down. He's going for Beckham Jr. And he's got Samuel. And I can't see. Okay, I didn't get down the last linebacker in time. Oh, oh, Samuel. Juked out Jackson right there. Good stuff. All right, so he got a little lucky there. He was being dumb on defense, and he got a little lucky there on that play. Damn, I didn't get him down in time there. Again, I'm not being fast right now. All right, better reactions. Let's go. Get Humphrey over there. Cover Godwin. Let's go. We got him down. Well played. There we go. All right, let's get us back on offense. One more down. We want to see Tom Brady. Got one covered. Beckham covered. Get some extra coverage on Beckham. Boom. You got nothing on me, bro. You can't do anything to this defense. All right, here we go. Let's see Tom Brady in action here. So I'm going to, I don't have a decent O-line right now. I think this is a good opportunity to demonstrate him getting knocked down. So I'm kind of like killing myself right now. Shoot myself in the foot. Oh, he didn't get knocked down. All right. Nice. Well, we got lucky he didn't get knocked down, but 
he has gotten knocked down before, which is really unfortunate when that happens because then you waste your ability, you know, and then what was the point to having the ability the, to start with? Then it's like, I would have rather just played Matt Ryan and not sacrificed my stats for the ability. And then now he doesn't have his ability, so let's see how well he passes. He did really good. Huh. That was pretty good. He had a lot of coverage there. All right. So this is weird. I mean, in my, my previous experience using Tom Brady, I've not gotten this lucky with my passes. And I'm still going to argue Mahomes is better. But we're doing pretty good right now. He's, he's showing off some pretty good gameplay for this video, which is fantastic. Because normally when I try to record a specific thing, I usually get like the worst, the worst recording ever. It's like I get the worst matchup ever. It's like I, either it gives me a bot or it gives me like a brand new player or, or I just get matched up by like the number one player in the game. All right, let's go. First half one, zero to 14. So we're up quite a bit. One, thanks to the stupidity of the first play, the defense that he, this man played. It was a little silly there. And then one, thanks to Tom Brady. So Tom Brady's actually killing it right now. And then obviously Corey Davis. Corey Davis is fire. If you're not using him on your team, I, I definitely suggest putting him on if you got him a decent level. Got one covered. Yeah, man, Corey Davis, he'll run and he'll catch that ball for sure. I mean, especially with the, t the pass rating that uh, that Tom Brady's got and the, the guaranteed pass thing, man, it works out well. All right, here we go. And one thing I would say about Tom Brady as well, you know, get the pass out as fast as you can, you know, because if you don't get it out fast enough, then he's not going to do a very good job at avoiding being sacked so man struggled to get that one out really just let, gave up some yardage there all right fourth down and this guy's a higher level than us we're, we're killing it with brady right now and the rest of our team puts him a little far back waste a little time if it's too far back Ooh, nice pass, guy. Matthew Stafford. I honestly thought that pass was going straight to the ground, but maybe my eyes were tricking me right there. All right, and let's see some Tom Brady in action again. I'm going to try to, if I can get him this turn, I'm going to try to run it with him. All right, now it looks like we're building an O-line. We're going to build an O-line? Oh, no, I didn't even select run in time. We might get safety. Please tuck and run. Please tuck and run. Oh, wait, we have Jones out there for the pass. I forgot. Oh, no. Let's go. We got lucky. I didn't even mean to do that. All right. Let's check out our Tom Brady again. Mix him up with Corey Davis. We got a good O-line built now. Yeah, Jones doesn't just go as o as a uh, O-line. He's a all-purpose. Nice. And there's that guaranteed pass right there. So we had a solid O-line. And because of the solid O-line, we're able to make that guaranteed pass, which is really great. So, man, Tom Brady's got some value, man. It really, in general, with this game, at first, it feels like the game is a little bit, like, random and just, like, or maybe there's certain teams that win. But as you go through, you'll realize that, in my opinion, I think that, you know, there is there are certain matchups that are favorable and not favorable, as well as there is a pretty decent level of, like thought process that should go into your deck and skill that should go into the way you play. All right. So we got 21 points now. That's three touchdowns with Tom Brady. This feels like a typical Brady game. We're doing really good. And this will be two seconds left. He's going to touch it back and he's going to try to go for a one play touchdown. I guess there's really nothing else he could do here. He's going for the Henry run. Man, I already I defended against you pretty well on that Henry stuff earlier. I don't know why you're trying to go for it again. Oh, oh, the last second drop of the Beckham. Cover him with the safety. Oh, there we go. And right there, if you just noticed, the free safety was dodged by Beckham. Like, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the, way, the place that they place the um, receivers is, like, perfect, that it just won't go through your zone for the safety, the free safety. That's why I don't like really like free safeties, man. It's like sometimes they work really well. 
but sometimes it's like they just get completely dodged. So it's like, what's the point? All right, but that was Tom Brady in action. I think that was a pretty solid game right there. Tom Brady killing it. So Tom Brady, man, he's got that guaranteed bullet pass for one play. When you get him to level nine, he's going to get two plays. And then obviously as you increase it, you'll be able to ignore the coverage of more and more defenders. And then, you know, his stats are like the second for a pocket passer right below Matt Ryan. And it's up to you. The other thing with Tom Brady is that he's six energy, whereas Matt Ryan with higher stats is only five energy. He doesn't have the bullet pass ability, but he's got provides a plus 100 catch rating buff to all teammates for one play, which I would argue is pretty close to similar. Um, obviously, it's not going to be a, like ignoring coverage, but it's like, man, you're boosting all the catch ratings. Hopefully they catch that ball. It should be a pretty good chance. you know. And then Mahomes, again, minus 100 interception. I would argue that's also pretty similar. You know, but it's for the thing with Mahomes is it's for every single play he's in. It's not just for the one play, which is totally nuts. I think it maybe, maybe that should be one play, but I don't know. That's just me. All right. So yeah, I'm going to stop the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and comment if you got anything to say about Tom Brady or if you think there's like, what is the best quarterback in your opinion? That's what I want to know. I personally think Patrick Mahomes right now is the best quarterback. I still haven't played with Mar Jackson. I haven't given Russell Wilson any play time and I haven't given Matt Ryan really a full run for his money. So I can't really say. And then obviously, you know, there's benefits to running lower energy quarterbacks, but we're talking about epic ones. So what is the best epic one? If you're going to put all your money into a quarterback there. All right. And uh, subscribe for your new channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.